Hey guys, what's up? It's Kelsey here, and today I'm gonna make sort of a different video uh, based off of my knowledge of sort of previous fingerboard making. As you can tell by the title, um, I'm going to make, I think it's gonna end up being a two part fingerboard video, like how to make a fingerboard. And for this first part, I mainly wanted to focus on how to print a graphic onto a fingerboard. I've done this once before and it was with one of those Navajo patterns and today I wanted to make a um, cruiser shape that I'll actually show you a mold that I uh, kind of did myself but I'll show you that later so first off what you want to do is um, find a pattern you want you could use different uh, editing softwares you could do it from your phone and upload that to your laptop if you want. So today I'm going to be uh, putting a Hawaiian floral pattern. So I'm just gonna look that up. And I did this on my phone, so this is the one that I'm gonna be using. The white, once you print it out, it will show the background ply that you're gonna print it on. And um, so all this white will be see-through on the ply, so I'm really only printing the black here. Um, so we're gonna do view image. Wait for this to load. All right, so now save image as. And so make should come up, yep. All right, so I'm gonna say, um, I'll save it as graphic or FB and I'll do that to documents all right so now what you want to do is if you have it go to Microsoft Word um, I don't know if you'll be able to use anything else besides this but basically just any application that allows you to put a picture on um, the screen and sort of edit its size stretch it out whatever Okay, so finally my word opened. Now what you're gonna wanna do is insert the picture that you choose. You could either do copy, but I'm going to do it through the documents, how I saved it, uh, just in case any of you have pictures um, that are in your, uh, I don't know, files. So what you wanna do is um, resize this image to the size of your plies. Uh, so that way you don't really waste any extra um, ink or anything. So, I mean, this should be fine. I think we'll bring it out more so it looks less distorted. Okay, I almost forgot. One very important thing that you need to remember is the way your veneer, the way the grain is going. If the grain is going um, up, to, up and down, then you wanna have your picture um, side to side. So the opposite. Now, if it's going this way, horizontally across it, then uh, you wanna have this up and down. And the way you can tell if you can't see that there's some lines going through here, that'll tell you, but if you can't tell, um, if it's easier to bend that way, they're going side to side, but if they, it's easier to bend this way, then it's going up and down. The way we're going to do it today is we're going to print this image out. So I'm going to go ahead and do print. And now this um, printer I have here is Bluetooth. So I can just do that um, and it'll start printing. If you have one that connects to your laptop, you're gonna need to do that, obviously. Okay, so now this is uh, sort of the important part. After you have this, you wanna position uh, what print you wanna have on here. So I think this has the most flowers, so I'm gonna put it about right here. You wanna do it over the picture, and now you're gonna take some tape, I have some right here, and tape it down so there is, um, So it's pretty flush with the paper. Now don't tape it right in the middle because that is where um, the tape will cover it and the ink won't get on here if you tape it right in the middle. So tape it on the edges 
and now you're gonna run this back through the printer. Think of like a circle, it'll run this way and come out this way. So um, if it's coming out this way, let me think. We're gonna need to do it face down. Yes, so face down in the paper holder. And now for the moment of truth, we print it again. Okay, I'm nervous on whether this will work or not. I've used other printers, um, but not this one. So this is a little nerve wracking. So the key is we don't want, oh, uh oh, okay. Don't let it fall on the carpet like I just did. But we wanted, this. so this, this worked. This is a success. Now the ink is gonna be pretty wet, so don't touch it. Um, but you can see uh, they didn't print the white because of why would a printer print white if the paper's white? Um, so this will work. We just need to let it dry and then I'll come back to you when it's dry. Okay, so it's been about five minutes and now what you want to do is take the tape off but be careful for the parts that still might have ink on it. Um, yeah. So now cut all of your veneers to the same size. Uh, this is preferable. It's really easier and cleaner to do it that way. Um, and I want to show you this mold that I made. So I made this and it's basically two blocks of wood put together uh, with wood glue. And then I, it was one solid block of wood and I have a jigsaw downstairs in the garage that I just freehanded this kind of. So what you want to do is make sure that your plies, you have five, because if you have any more, it's going to be hard to get screws through. So you want five and make sure the grains are alternating. So the one that I printed the graphic on was going up and down and then uh, to the left it's going side to side and then after that is up and down, side to side, up and down. So just make sure you keep that if uh, you don't the deck is really not going to keep shape and uh, it won't turn out how you like it. So put glue on all of these. Okay, you might be screaming at me right now because I put glue on the graphic part. That is actually the right side because I had to reprint it and the correct side is on the other side of that. But you want to make sure that you don't put it on that one. So on the last one, if you do, then your top ply will have glue and it will be a mess. So you only need it on for the plies. So really you can use any glue as long as it says that it's uh, good when used for wood. But I think Gorilla Glue would hold its shape better. Kind of gives it the extra pop because it dries really hard. Okay, so just make sure your mold is lined up. You don't want it to be lopsided or something. Um, I put black Sharpie marks, so you could kind of tell. I mean, it's basically a rectangle, so it's kind of hard not to line up without noticing. So just wait uh, about 12 to 24 hours. Uh, and take this out. That will be the second part of this video because I am I think it'll probably be long uh, right now. I want to keep it about like under 10 minutes at least. Um, so when I wake up tomorrow, I'll film the second part.